hey friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe down below in today's video I'm doing an updated hair care routine because a couple of months ago maybe over the summer I did a hair care routine um, but if you are new to my channel my hair was about a foot longer than it is now I got my hair cut like a month and a half ago and I'm kind of still learning how to take care of it, how to manage it, how to style it, things like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I use in my hair, um, what I wash my hair with, so shampooing and conditioner, um, any extra products that I use, any tools that I use, things like that. And then I'm also going to show you ways that I have enjoyed styling it recently. Um, so I'm going to hop in the shower and wash my hair and we shall proceed. Hey guys, so I am out of the shower and uh, I just washed my hair. Oh, I forgot to get my shampoo and conditioner, BRB. So for this to be a full hair care routine, um, I wish literally any of this was sponsored, but it's not. So. Um, what I've been using recently on my hair to wash it is the Tresemme, this, you can't even see it on here, the Tresemme Moisture Rich um, Shampoo and Conditioner. It's like eight bucks for both of them at Target. And it's just been making my hair really feel so soft and it looks really shiny and it feels really healthy. Some products that I may use in my hair. Um, when my hair was long, it got tangled really, really easily. So I like lived with leave-in conditioner in my hair. But I haven't been doing that as much recently because I don't have as much hair. And it's a lot closer to my roots and I don't want to like have to wash it every day. Um, but whenever I do wear leave-in conditioner, it's this one, which I got in a FabFitFun box. And honestly, like it's phenomenal. It smells so good. And I think I'm going to put some in my hair now. Before, I would just spray it all over my hair, but now I have to put it in my hands because I don't want to get too much. Just kind of touch my hairs. All right, so there it is. Um, there's that. And then anything else that I might use in my hair is the Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Shampoo from the brand Organics. It's extra strength. I'm not going to lie, I really just got this because I liked the way it smelled. And then... I ended up really liking the way it works. Now I'm just gonna proceed with the hair care routine. I'm actually gonna do it for you, so. Gonna blow dry my hair first. Um, and then I have this random brush that I got for a dollar from the dollar store because I don't ever brush my hair unless it's wet, so. Here we have it. All right, it's brushed. And then I'm just kinda gonna blow dry it. Side note, this is the Baby Buttercup from Dry Bar and I got it for my birthday last year. And it has an attachment that's supposed to make your hair straight, but I, it doesn't fit. I've had it replaced like three times and it still doesn't fit, so maybe it's my hair dryer. I don't know, gonna go back to drying now. You know what, this is boring. I'll see you when my hair is dry. Well, it's mostly dry and I look like a mom from the 80s. So what's really annoying about my hair since I've cut it is that um, I've known this, but for some reason it always shocks me, is that my hair has very little curl in it when it's short. Like, obviously there's still some curl, like, movements of a curl happening, but they just, like, don't want to curl. And, like, this side is literally, like, straight. It looks like I straightened it. Like, this is what my hair looks like when I straighten it. This is ridiculous. Um, and low-key, I kind of look like Willy Wonka with this hair, but... We're just gonna go with it. Um, so I blow dried it and I don't do this every day because it just took me way too long. Also, who wants to put heat on their hair every day? Not me. Cutting it was kind of starting over, you know? Healthy hair, taking care of it. So, you know, there's that. Um, so now I guess we get to the styles, the styling. Basically, I've been playing a lot with my hair, just trying to figure out what to do with it because obviously, like, okay, before I wore my hair down all the time, like, whatever, just like imagine 12 inches longer, I just wore it down like this. I just parted it down the middle, not the middle, down the side right here, and I mostly wore it like this. Sometimes I would wear it pulled back, sometimes I'd like braid it or do something to it, but for the most part, I just wore it down. Well, because it's so, when it's this short, because it doesn't have any curl, it just has so much body to it. So, like, that's not a bad thing, but I can't do anything without it falling in my face. Like, it's constantly in my face. 
so I cannot wear it like this. I mean like I feel like sometimes it'd be okay to wear it like this, but not whenever I'm like trying to work, trying to do literally anything. Um, this is good for like an Instagram pic and nothing else, so which isn't practical. So I've been trying to play with different ways to like pull it back so that it's out of my face, but also so that it looks decent because um, like I said, this look low-key makes me look kind of like a mom from the 80s, but also like Willy Wonka at the same time. Um, but next I'm just gonna add some curls since my hair decided it didn't want to be curly anymore. Um, this is the Bedhead TG Curly Pops wand. Um, this is the three-fourths of an inch. This one is fairly new in comparison to all the other ones. Um, but I remember when this got released at Ulta, I was like all over it. Um, because I wanted a half inch one and everyone was like, Hunter, your hair is too thick for that. So I was like, fine, I'll get a quarter of an inch thicker. So that's what I got here. So I guess we're gonna just add some curls, but I have to unplug the blow dryer so that I can plug this up because my light is plugged up and it's on. So I'm just going to let it heat up now. I have this clip that I stole from my roommate in college. I didn't steal it from her on purpose, but somehow it ended up with my things. And then when she moved out, it became mine. Um, sorry, Audrey. Um, so like, it's so thick that this clip does not hold it all, but like, we're going to try our best. So I'm, I'm just doing what I can. So let's just curl it now. We've added the curl back and this is a look I guess I could do this but I'm not going to because it's in my face um, so um, basically I don't do this like ever except for maybe church once a week um, but without further ado let me show you how I've been styling my hair recently there's always the classic I can't separate the elastics there's always the classic half up ponytail you can never go wrong with a half up ponytail. You know, you got the little pieces up here, you know? This is probably how I wear my hair like 90% of the time. Either it's in a ponytail or I put it in a bun because, you know, and I think that like pieces like this that are not completely perfectly laying down make it look better um, because the curls are already a mess. You know, if you wanted to pull some bits and pieces out and loosen it up a bit, you know, there's that option as well. I don't have framing pieces um, that are like shorter right here, so that's good, but you know, other people do. So we have the bun and then, you know, the ponytail. Okay, so next thing I have been doing is, so we have it, you know, parted. Um, I take a little bit here and a little bit here, or, or a lot actually, um, and then I gather a bit in the back as well and go half back, not quite a ponytail. Um, I feel like I want it to not lay, sit up so high, so I'm going to take a bobby pin probably just one and pull out the pieces that are maybe taller in the back, more messy looking, and pin it right there. I mean, it's still kind of messy, but, you know, pinning it so it at least stays out of my face um, because it's inevitable they will fall. Um, another thing that I like doing is um, braiding it. So, French braiding it right here. <laughs> Usually when I wear my hair like this, I have six bobby pins in, three on each side, um, and then I'm just pulling some little pieces out, you know, right here, so that we got some face frame and pieces that are not going to fall into my face constantly. I hate the way this piece looks right here because I want this to be in the braid, but um, maybe this piece out. There we go. And then, you know, if you wanted, you could Alright, so what else do I do? I haven't really done anything else to my hair 
It's really all I've done is the buns and the braids. Pretty basic. However, there is something. Um, I've taken a couple of pictures with some space buns, and I'm not gonna lie, I really like the way that it looks, so we're gonna try to do that now. Should I do it with the middle part? No, I look weird with the- no, yes, I've always done it with the middle part. Okay, so we got one tiny bun. And we got two tiny buns. Wait, this is so cute. I actually love this. Wow, this is really cute. You guys might hate it, but I like this a lot. Wow, I'm a fan. I might never take my hair out of space buns now. I've always really liked the way my hair looks in space buns because it's a little bit different, you know? I like this. I like this a lot. All right, well, um, that's all I got for today. I can't think of anything else interesting to do to my hair to show you guys how I've styled my short hair recently. This will probably make an appearance on Instagram at some point. Maybe not in my current attire, but at some point, maybe when I'm out and about. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Um, also, I said this will probably show up on my Instagram sometime, so you should follow me on Instagram. It is linked in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!